Joining us live in studio now is Chamber of Commerce Hawaii President Sherry Manor McNamara. Howard Dushevsky is standing by with her. All righty, Joe, thank you very much. Sherry, first of all, welcome. Uh, great to see you here. Uh, if people don't know the first female CEO in what, 172 year history of the uh, Chamber of Commerce, yes. the youngest. Yes. So, uh, and boy, have you had a job the last few years. Uh, before we talk about the present and the future, you and I were just kind of talking about the business climate during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's just a blur, isn't it? it? Yes, absolutely. I mean, for businesses to go through, and everyone, go through two shutdowns, um, but particularly talking about small businesses, they've gone through a lot. And even fast forward two years later, many of them are still struggling. And on top of that, they're facing inflation, supply chain issues, workforce challenges, uh, amongst other uh, issues. And so it's been quite a challenge. We just don't know also what the economy holds uh, in the near right. future and as we move forward. So what is the biggest challenge for the local small business owner? Uh, uh, workforce, you mentioned that's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, even the minimum wage, that puts a burden on business owners. There's a lot of different dominoes that are kind of teetering out there. Yes, because many of them during the pandemic had to use their own savings, mm -hmm. take out loans, uh, as well as cut costs. Uh, so they lost a lot of revenue. So even though things are better, uh, they're still climbing out of this big hole that was dug. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, there's so many other challenges that they're facing. Uh, and we just, this economy today is just so volatile because we rely on a lot on global markets too. Uh, so we just don't know. Uh, we've done, uh, many organizations have done polls and it, it clearly shows that small businesses are very concerned about what the future holds. There are a lot of unknowns. Asia still has yet really to return to Hawaii. One known now is Josh Green will be the next governor that you'll be working with. You already have a relationship, so through the Chamber of Commerce, what are some of the initiatives and, and some of the goals that you're hoping to kind of collaborate on and pursue together? Yes, well, first, we'd like to focus on regulations. Uh, you hero had noted that Hawaii has a very uh, regulatory climate that adds to the cost of doing business, and specifically housing. So we would like to work with the new administration uh, on addressing those regulations uh, and fixing that. Because before we can invest in other industries, we really need to fix the foundation of the, the environment here and the cost of doing business and the cost of living. So that way we can collectively move forward. So we are so looking forward to working with the new administration. As you mentioned before, uh, we work closely with the legislature and we've worked closely with Senator Green when he was senator, as well as Lieutenant Governor. Uh, and so for him being uh, governor-elect, uh, we're excited about that, as well as Lieutenant Governor Sylvia Luke, uh, and working with the administration, as well as the elected officials in the upcoming legislative session to address the regulations, as I mentioned earlier, to address education and workforce development. Development, uh, and to address other types of challenges that our businesses face today. Well, hopefully we could all say we've been through the darkest period. Let's enjoy the light and let's, let's keep going in that direction. Absolutely. And it's going to take all of us. It's going to take partnerships and collaboration. And that's where we hope that we can work closely with the administration and the legislature to form productive partnerships in moving our state forward. Well, best of luck as you pursue uh, the next uh, year or two down the road. Thank you for joining us. And Thank you. We'll stay in touch with you as we always do. Thank you. Thank you. Sherry Menor McNamara. Joe, we sent it back to you.